Hey, welcome back. We did a live chat on this uh, a few days ago, but I want to do a more succinct, shorter video that just goes through the key steps of what you need to do to make your section transitions just a little bit more creative and just a little bit more different. I'm talking about when you go from section to section, there's a bit of a fade in effect and you can be really creative with how you do this so that we kind of don't always use the shape dividers. I got nothing against shape dividers used carefully and in the right way, they are awesome. But sometimes I see too many websites where they've just got the slanted shape divider or the wavy mountain effect. And after a while, the gimmick starts to run a bit dry when you see it on nearly every elemental website, especially plugin websites they all use it. It's like, hey, do something a bit different. But this is dead, dead simple and easy to do. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow because we love having you. Now, what we have here are just two sections. Both sections, they're uh, currently set to be um, like 100 vertical height over here. So that's the full screen. And there's nothing fancy going on here. They have a couple, they have some headers in there. But the key bit is, is we have an image center center image it is a fixed image so you get the parallax effect where the words move and the image is fixed and then the other one appears no repeat and they are both covered so look we have image one and then you're going to look the wording moves and then you get to image two you know you get the effect okay and it, and you know you could be quite creative with this now what if i want this image here to fade in OK, so I don't want it to kind of appear straight away. So I want it to fade in effect. And you're probably going to go, well, what do you mean by that? Watch this. We go to this section. We go to advanced. We go to motion effects. And we are going to activate the scrolling effect like this. And then I'm going to go for transparency because we want a transparent effect. So it fades in. So I click this and I, it's now activated to be fade in. It will default to 10 and I would say leave it as 10. If you go any lower, it will affect the way the transition works. So fade in 10. And when I've set it to be 32% from the bottom and 52 from the top, this is a little bit of trial and error, okay? And you've got to play around with this to get it right. But let me just show you what happens if I um, go back to the top. As I scroll down, can you see the image there? It's not it's kind of slightly faded out. And it's not until you fade up to roughly about 52% from the top that we're now gonna get the full effect. So I've changed it back to about 42%. So look, you can see what's happening. It becomes clear, but we now have this fade in effect. But what if you don't want the white background, right? What if you want a different color coming there? Now, one thing you could do is make your entire background a completely different color black, but then that means you're gonna have a black background everywhere on your website. And you're gonna have to keep making sure you put colors in. Now here's the, here's the trick in the really clever bit, okay? I am going to just add in another section, right? Just another section like that. Nothing fancy going on here, just one section. I'm then gonna go to the style of that and I'm gonna give it a gradient. I'm gonna give it a gradient color of, let's go for uh, this purple color here. And the second color is actually going to be fully transparent. So we're gonna have basically like that effect. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to, for this section, give it a minimum height. So 150 pixels is the minimum height I'm going for. I'm going to go back to my style, back to my gradient, and I'm just going to move the purple to just be a little bit stronger. Okay, like that. Just So we still have a fading effect, but it's a little bit more of a stronger purple shade coming in there before we get to the transparent. Remember, it must be transparent. Don't start to do this, otherwise you're gonna get a full on block change, which kind of defeats what we're doing with the fading effect. Okay, right, we're not done yet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this section to be over the new section, the purple one. You might have to do, with, you might have to do some jiggery pokery here and go to advanced for the purple section and just give it a Z index of say one. And I'm gonna go over here to this section and I'm gonna give this a Z index of two. So what I'm now saying is that this will sit over the purple one. We go to the section over here and I'm now just gonna decrease this to kind of match the top. I mean, I could just do 150, I think, like that. I'm just gonna double check, yeah, 150. And this is where it helps if you've given it a minimum height. So if you've, put, um, if you've given it a minimum height of 300, you then do a negative top margin of 300 for this as well. Right, let's now update this, okay? Let me jump right back to the top, like that. 
So what now happens, let me get rid of that, what now happens when we scroll down? Can you see the purple? It is there. And then it will fade away. I mean, you might want to make, you might want to actually make the fade a little bit better there because it's not, it's not the greatest fade there. So I would say, I would say mess around with that just a little bit more. I'm going to go to the layout for this and I'm actually going to make this be 300. I'm then going to go to my section, which is the one afterwards and change this to be uh, 300 as well. So now it's in line. Let's update that. So the 150 was a little bit too, not the greatest, but look, when we scroll down now, we're going to get the purple, right? And it is a solid color there. That is solid. There's no transparency. But as we move a little bit, it starts to become transparent. And look, we're now blending in. Okay, and you can mess around with how you do this with the exact shading and everything like that, because there's a bit of a whiteness going on there. But what you now have is a blended in effect. Now, what's really cool about this, and this is the other important bit, and then we're done. I promise we are done. I'm just going to duplicate. Uh, did I duplicate the right section? No, I didn't. I'm going to duplicate this section and move it to be afterwards. I'm also going to duplicate this section with the are you ready? Okay, and move that to be afterwards as well. I'm just going to go over here now to the new purple and I'm just going to give this a, a color of a three and the latest section I've just added in, I'm going to give that a four. So let me now go to section, the duplicated one. That is where we did the purple. Let me change that now to be a different color. Let's go for a darker purple. And for the last section, we're just going to change the image and we'll pick something like, let's go with something like that. In fact, we'll go with this picture here. Uh, this person, right? So if I now just update that, by the way, this all works on your mobile as well. You're going to mess around a little bit with your margins, obviously your layout. And I would always say that if you've got a big horizontal image, put a copy of that image in as a portrait so it doesn't affect your page speed scores. But this, the, the effects work on the mobile. Of course, you can deactivate the effects. Don't forget, you know, if you go to advanced, um, this hasn't got a motion effect on, by the way, the very top image. But look, if you go to transparency, let's say we did have something, you can untick it so it doesn't work on the mobile if you don't want to have it there. Now, this is where you are going to have to play around with the bottom and the top margins, you know, with regards to the scrolling effect, just to get it right between each section. But with a bit of perseverance, you will get it. Just, you know, move, position it to be at the point where the transition starts to come into effect and just look at, well, what works best for you. So, so we're previewing the page now and the words come sliding in. And obviously you're gonna mess around with your bottom and your top of your scrolling effect for the fade in, fade out, just to get it just right. Play around with it, you will get there. But as we move down to section two, you're gonna get a solid pinky purple color there when it fades out. And then when we go to the next section, you're gonna get a solid purpley color, something around about there, solid purple, darker purple, and then it blends out. I've still gotta mess around a little bit there with the fading, because you can see there's like a little bit of a uh, transition going on there. But look, you mess around with it and you'll get it to be how you want. But look, play around with it. And this is just another funkier way of doing something a little bit different rather than your traditional, uh, you know, shape dividers or just having standard parallax effects. You can add in a little bit of color and variety. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I shall see you soon.